All right, so uh, yesterday at practice, uh, I discussed uh, proper flight angles or takeoff angles uh, with my jumpers. And um, I felt like it was a really, really, really good lesson. So I thought we'd kind of go through that uh, with you here and uh, just kind of show you what we went through. The first thing I drew was a person that does too large of a takeoff angle, okay? And our big focus yesterday was on landings, okay? So this is the kind of person that takes way too big of one. Now, if this takeoff angle does happen, basically what happened is that coming down the runway, they slowed down before the board because they were able to utilize more upwards push and power. So they lost speed somewhere in here to get up that high. And if you look here, this is about where they'll land. And because of the angle that they're coming down, their body is either going to come down way too hard and get hurt, or they're going to stumble forward at the end. Anytime an athlete stumbles forward at the end of their jump, it's an indication uh, that something went wrong in terms of takeoff, uh, flight, or over rotation at the ending. So this is one big thing that I wanted to show them. The next one I showed them was a medium takeoff angle, something more like this, okay? And again, We'll draw the person coming in properly for, for landing. They're going to land more like here-ish, maybe a little farther. Okay, this is a medium one. Now, this angle looks so much better uh, in terms of control. When this person lands, this is the kind of landing you want. Okay, so now let's actually draw this person again over here. Kind of same picture we're doing here okay and here are uh, here's the sand this represents the sand when the heels hit the knees here need to bend when the knees bend it'll bring the butt right to the heels okay so this is where the athlete will mark in the sand now, if the knees don't bend and they just stay straight, rigid, and so on, the butt's just going to go straight down. And now this is the new mark. So the person just lost that amount of distance. Okay. So this is crucial. And this is why, in my opinion, the landings are the hardest thing to do in both jumps. And this can be for both lung and triple, by the way is that the second this hits, the knee needs to bend. It's all about timing. It's all about body awareness and where things are at. And so the short approach jumps and standing long jumps into sand, those are the kinds of things that need to happen on a consistent basis for timing purposes. And then there's other drills like the chair landing drill. You can literally YouTube chair landing drill, and it's the first one there that comes up that helps with the mechanics of getting your body in the proper locations. All right, so this ideal, I believe somewhere I read once that it's the best takeoff angle is roughly 22 to 25 degrees. That means that the athlete kept their speed all the way through the board and after the board, they ran off the board and used their power to get up, but not too high up and then was able to utilize both power and speed for an outward and upward jump. The last one I showed my athletes was a very little takeoff angle, okay? And that's going to have a landing that happens almost immediately, okay? This means the person came down the lane, didn't have any speed whatsoever, didn't push forward, didn't push upwards, just kind of ran kept their running speed at like a jog, not very fast, and just kind of went. Now, there's a lot of athletes 
that I've seen do this over the years. This kind of a jump and takeoff, this is inexcusable, in my opinion. This means that they went way too slow. There was no aggressiveness. They were just kind of there to be there and to just jump for the heck of it. This cannot happen. If a kid accidentally takes off on too big of an angle, I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm going to teach them how to get to the medium angle. I'm okay with the big angle, though because that is going to be something that can be easily fixed. And they were at least trying to jump a big jump. That's what their focus was there. This is no speed, nothing. They're just whatever. This cannot happen. Now, the other thing we talked about was how to get to this proper landing location. Okay. So we talked about two different kinds of takeoffs here. So we talked about athletes that are taking off and they get their foot on the board. Um, Oh, whoops, I meant to do, nah, sorry. I'll do this instead. Okay, so they get their foot on the board, but then they're like leaning backwards at takeoff. And it's because they reached for the board or their body position wasn't correct or they utilized bad sprint mechanics. If an athlete jumps off the board like this, they're going to enter the sand like this. Do you see how this athlete here is leaning forward? Well, when this athlete hits the sand here, okay, there's no way, even if they bend their knees, that they're going to be able to come and get their butt through like we talked about here on this other drawing their butt's just going to go straight down. There's no, no way to avoid it. An improper backwards takeoff here will lead to an improper landing. So how should the athlete look to get to this kind of landing at takeoff? It should look more like this. There, okay? This is what's going to get you the control to be able to get to there. I recently talked to the collegiate coach, and he told me that you should have roughly a two-degree forward lean at takeoff. Okay, now that's almost no, that's not even noticeable, really, if you're looking at things. So don't go telling athletes to lean forward at takeoff. Otherwise, they're going to over-rotate too quickly and not be able to land like that anyway. But we have to, we'd have to really help our athletes understand how to have the proper positioning of their body and posture at takeoff. A lot of athletes are reaching for the board and it puts their, their body position in this kind of uh, a positioning uh, and they're not able to utilize the proper uh, angle of takeoff as well as landing, okay? So it all starts here to get to here. And again, this is the one we're really looking for, okay? All right, now, the athletes seemed to take a lot from this. They were able to ask questions. They were able to kind of, you know, inquire about things that they were still confused about after looking at the drawing. There wasn't many confusing things, but there were a few that wanted to, that reached out and had some questions about, you know, more of the takeoff stuff and a little bit more about the landing. We worked on the chair landing drill nonstop after this as well as a connection piece. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, unlike, you know, my athletes, I can't answer you right now, right away. Uh, but if you do, uh, either leave them on the video or uh, on YouTube or put them right on uh, day 25 uh, blog on longintriple.com. As well, if you have any questions, you can email me at longintriple, the number three at gmail.com. All right. Hopefully that's, this made sense.